Sounds like she just likes us to suck. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. Am I to become a nightingale? It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. Okay. Lydia! Oh, I was about to say. Ha! What the hell do you think you are, Lydia? <laughs> Get behind. That was Brynith. Brynolf. Bryn... Yeah, Brynolf, I think his name is. So this is Nightingale Hall. Yep. I heard about this Bryn -Jong. place when I joined the Bryn I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a way to proceed in the It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Bryn I can almost hear you growl I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm trying to understand why I'm here last. I'm no priest. I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion. Hey, how's how do you crouch again? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm not missing any secret hidden spots. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. <laughs> I'm not hesitant, I'm just... Looking around. Pretty sure there isn't anything else. Activate Nightingale Armor Stone. Cool. You appear hesitant to don your knife. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Oh. Alright. Time to put on my Nightingale apparel. Oh, check this out. Whoo! Whoo! Snap! Look at this! Increase your stamina by 20 points. Increase frost resistance by 15%. Put that on. Nightingale boots. Wear is muffled and moves silently. Nice, nice. Lock picking is 15% easier. One handed attacks do 15% more damage. So now I'm using my sword. So that's good. Dang, that, that means I'm going to lose that 25% easier. Oh well. It's a nice little trade off to use my sword because I actually do want to use my sword. But hood illusion spells cost 12%. Less to cast. I don't think I've been using any illusion spells. I need to start doing that. <laughs> Here we go. I'm all set. This is enough to make you. Oh my! In, eh? What? Whoa! That is hot. That is seriously hot. And then I got my sword. Look at that. This is hot. That is sweet. Check that out. Mm -mm. That is sexy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? 
I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. Yeah. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yes, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. Western Circle. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Spinning, spinning, spinning! She's a spinning machine. <laughs> this is enough to make your head spin, eh? We'll speak when the oath is complete. Alright, so Western. Here we go. Okay. Lydia! Bitch, move! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but seriously, Lydia, I don't know what's gonna happen. You might want you might want to get out of my way. Lydia, come walk this way, Lydia. Lydia, walk this walk this way, Lydia. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, oh, Queen of Merc, oh, and God. Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. L Lydia. Ah, oh, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady. I've huh. come before bow. to throw myself at your mercy. Oh, wait, I can't bow. To accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Oh boy. Lydia, you are now a Nightingale. Congrats. <laughs> I suggest you talk to Carlyle first. Now that you've transacted the Earth, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. Ah, that's how he did it. only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. The guild should possess this item? Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lass. 
There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. 